Okay, guys, I'm back again. So, uh, if you are ready, here we go with the second part of this, uh, of episode 6, Lost and Found, of Home and Chaos. Here we go in 3, 2, 1, start. <laughs> this is so gonna be good. More and more times I see this, four months, it gets more and more Never pranked anyone, didn't tell jokes, and closed herself off completely. She gave every piece of her soul to Soren. And just like that, and if you guys know, her, want to know why I'm from being the Bible, so quiet, she start a it's because so I, so she you was guys can listen to the story. A month later is when Soren invited her to but the diner with her for the first yeah. time. Dash thought, okay, we're finally going to fix our marriage, but instead found Soren all over another pony. She went from thoughts of having a family to complete and utter emotional destruction. She was destroyed. We all tried to help her, support her, but truly, only you, Sonic, have been able to bring back Rainbow Dash. I can't believe what you've done for her. You're amazing, Sonic the Hedgehog, and I want to thank you for making her feel special again. I had to send you to that beach so you would, so you would meet her. You both have that need for speed, adventure, and fun. After Soren crushed her, she lost all that and her zest that makes Rainbow Dash Rainbow Dash. I knew deep down you'd help her, but I had no idea you guys would be in love after one month. I am so happy for the both of you. Mm. Thanks, Twilight. Dash is lucky she has such great friends. The big difference between what Dash and I went through with yeah, Sora and Amy was that Dash was married. When I was yeah. really in love with Amy, I wanted to marry her so badly. The truth is, with me constantly running off to play hero, I kind of lost track of what Amy meant to me. She eventually got sick of waiting around for me, so she found love with Shadow. The part of which that was most devastating to me was that if I had spent more time paying attention and listening to Amy, instead of always fighting Eggman, then maybe we would have been married. Shadow and Amy eventually broke up and she immediately came running back to me. And I said, why not? For the last seven years, I've been trying to feel love again with Amy, and not once has it ever came back. I don't want to settle for Amy, and I don't want to feel like I'm her second choice. I've come to the realization over the last month that the reason Amy and I haven't worked out is because deep down, neither one of us accepts the other for who they are. That was a lot of dialogue. <laughs> you got that right. There was a lot of dialogue. And how does Rainbow Dash make you feel? I'm madly in love with her. I can't get her off my mind. This feeling, I, I don't even know what it is. I've never felt so passionate about anyone the way I feel for her. I look at her glittery, gorgeous, magenta eyes and my heart pounds through my chest. The truth is, Twilight, you said you saw me as the real Rainbow Dash, but when I see Dash, I see me. I don't have to be someone else with her. If there is ever a battle on this planet, I know Dash and I would be side by side with all of you, fighting to protect our home. And yeah, even the whole need for speed thing intrigued me with Dash. But because of that, we've actually gotten to know each other. I really can't picture my life without Rainbow Dash. I've never been in love Man, like I tell you, it's got a lot of dialogue to talk about Rainbow Dash. Dash. If you hadn't, I wouldn't have known what real love feels like. I know today is going to be hard, Sonic. I'm here for you if you need support after it's over. Amy does deserve to know the truth about how you're feeling. You both deserve the chance to find happiness. You definitely have that with Rainbow Dash. She will fight for you. The best thing about Dash is that when she loves you, she gives every ounce of love she has. That's great, because from this point forward, I'm giving every ounce of my love to her. Rarity's Boutique. Manic is getting fitted for a tuxedo. Manic, could you please stop fidgeting? I can't get an accurate measurement. Why do we have to dress oh, up boy. so fancy for this? I don't do snob. <gasps> oh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Manic just said, oh dear, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. <clears throat> Get ready to run, Manic. Because I think Rarity's going to kill you now. <laughs> Darling, this gala is the most important event of the year here in Equestria. It's not about being snobbish. She's right, Manic. Look at me. I've been invited 
cake every year, and I'm a baker. Yeah, how does that work? I can see Rarity going because she's a fancy clothing designer. Rarity accidentally sticks Manic with a needle. Oh, I'm huh? not just some fancy clothing designer. I have you know that our group of friends get invited every year because we are the Harnesses of Harmony. Myself, Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, and Princess Twilight Sparkle each harness one of the six elements of harmony. And that oh means we're heroes, you dolt. We protect our uh, planet from evil. We've actually saved the country a couple of times. So as you can see, not everyone in attendance is going to be a snob. Pinkie Pie is a very sweet pony who has asked you to be her date. Please don't ruin this evening for her. I don't have much fun at this event either, Manic. It's not the kind of party I enjoy, but at least I'll have you there to have fun with. Pinkie Pie loves rave and dance parties. She once tried to do a stage dive at this event. Needless to say, no pony caught her. Seriously? Pinky, you attempted a stage dive at a royal ball? Yes, well, every pony told me it was a party. I didn't know it wasn't that kind of party. Spike enters. Rarity! Oh, Spikey Poo! Is Twilight with you? Oh, no, actually, she gave me the next few days off. And I only work Monday through Friday now. Twilight says I need to start living life and focusing some attention on you. We need to start building our relationship. I'm here to help you if you need it. Rarity uses her unicorn horn to lift Spike up. Oh, Spike, I have missed you so much. Rarity gives Spike a passionate kiss. Aw, you guys! Really? A hot pony like you is dating a little dragon? No offense, bro. For your information, Manic, Spike knows how to treat a lady. You can learn a lot from him. And my spiky wikey is so cute. Now who's the snob, Manic? Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, Rarity. I'll take it as a compliment. Manic does make a good point, though, Rarity. And what's that, dear? You are pretty hot. Oh, boy. <laughs> Rarity giving Spike the flurry look. And just think, Spike. All of this is yours, darling. Little dragon dude, you are off the hook, son. Fo sheezy he is he. All right, Manic. We have everything we need. Do you like the design? Yeah, it's cool. Excellent. Now if, I, now, if I could only get the rest of the boys down here so Cream and I can get to work. Cream, dear. Cream exits the war room. Yes? Spike and I are going to head up the street for, to the cafe for some coffee, and I'm badly craving an eclair. Would you like to join us, or can I bring something back if you'd like? I'm very busy. Working on the headdresses for the gala, but if you don't mind, I would love a raspberry hibiscus tea with a touch of honey, please. You got it, darling. Pinkie Pie, Manic, Spike, and Rarity leave. Fluttershy's cottage. Fluttershy is working on her garden and is talking to Rainbow Dash. How did things go last night with Discord? Overall, we had fun. I asked him <laughs> to be my date to the gala. He said yes. That's cool. How are things with you and Sonic? Things could not be better. So last night we had our first kiss, and oh my god, it was awesome. Of course, Twilight had it interrupted, but Sonic and I both admitted we are falling Yeah, and you were talking about, you know... <clears throat> oh, you guys are really great together. Every pony can see he has a positive impact on you. I'm just happy to see that Sonic makes you happy. Last night, we also decided we are an official couple, and he's moving in with me. Aren't you worried it's too soon? Well, maybe a little, but Sonic and I have agreed that we are going to take things slow and sleep in separate bedrooms for now. Living together can have its perks, Shy. We get to know each other even better now. Well, well, Rainbow Dash, at least you found love again. I would like to find it for a first time. Oh, come on, Fluttershy. Have you seen how hot you are? Here. Look in that window. Shy, you are so incredibly oh, attractive. Boy. The only thing you have to work on is your assertiveness and your confidence. Oh no, Dash. You remember the last time I tried learning how to be assertive? Hello. I'm already in love. The problem is that Discord is gay. I will never be able to find a straight Discord. Have you thought about maybe going with Pinkie Pie right. to some of the dance clubs she goes to in Manhattan? Do I look like a pony who likes to dance? 
I have issues talking to ponies. I don't know. Project <laughs> dancing. Can you, can you can imagine that, you guys? A boyfriend. It doesn't seem like a great place to meet a forever pony. <laughs> She's got a point there, Dash. But still, seriously, can you imagine Flutterside dancing, everyone? I mean, seriously. <laughs> I mean, even though I would like to see what you. If he, one of these days, Flutterside, some wonderful stallion is going to make you feel like the only girl in the world. You have to start putting yourself out there, girl. I mean, think about it. All you do is sit around your cottage and take care of animals and garden. How are you going <laughs> to find a stallion when you're too busy being cooped up here? Here's the facts, Dash. No stallion wants to be with a mare like me. I have the ability to talk to animals. I'm socially awkward. I like to lay around the grass all day with butterflies. Mm -hmm. I'm scared of everything. I just don't offer anything interesting to stallions these days. They take one look at me and they think I'm weird. Discord is the only pony who truly makes me feel comfortable with me. Canterlot Castle. Sonic and Twilight Sparkle have arrived. Princess Celestia greets them both. It's wonderful to finally meet you, Sonic. I've heard so many great things about you from Princess Twilight Sparkle, and also your friends Amy and Tails. Oh, Thank you, Your Majesty. Well, you all lived very difficult lives on Mobius, I'm glad you and your friends have been enjoying peace and harmony that Equestria offers. Let's take you to see your friends. Twilight tells me you will be coming to the Grand Galloping Gala next week as Rainbow Dash's date. Good old Princess Celestia. <clears throat> yeah, she's the most special girl I've ever met. Mm -hmm. Rainbow Dash is an unbelievable pony. She's a warrior, a heroine, loyal, brave, bold, funny, warm-hearted, kind, beautiful, fast, and agile. She's also very loving and trustworthy. So yes, she is very special. Your friend's room is at the end of the hallway, right where those two guards are. Twilight, I would like to have a conversation with you in my chamber. Sonic goes to Tails and Amy's room. Ugh. Knock, knock. Someone told me where I could find a two-tailed fox and a pink hedgehog. Amy and Tails run to Sonic and embrace him. Sonic, I'm so happy you're alive. Tails crying. I've been searching for you two for the last month. I've missed you so much, Tails. I'm so sorry we lost Cosmo. Sonic crying. It wasn't your fault, Sonic. You and Shadow did everything you could to try and stop the Metarex. No, no it was partially my fault. <laughs> if we had acted faster, maybe we could have caught the Metarex off guard. Instead, they were already on the offensive, and Cosmo was forced to sacrifice herself to take them out. She was such a warm, caring soul, Tails, and I'm so sorry you lost her. Tails begins crying. Yeah, she was. She loved all of us so much. Cosmo couldn't bear to see us go through what her people went through with the Metarex. She did what oh, she felt she had to do to protect us. Oh, Sonic, I love her. I just wish she could be here with me. Sonic embraces Tails. Tails. Sonic, I'm so happy to see you. I honestly didn't think you were alive. Amy goes to Sonic and rubs his back and kisses his cheek. I found Tails' backpack yesterday in the woods, and when I did, I'll admit I feared the worst for the two of you. Fortunately, last night I found out from my friend Twilight Sparkle that the two of you were alive. I'm sorry you guys had it so rough out there. Once you guys move to Ponyville, you'll see how peaceful this place is. We spent so much time defending Mobius, none of us had a chance to enjoy life. Equestria is a chance for all of us to have new beginnings and focus on the things that we missed out on back at home. Oh, Sonic, I'm so happy to hear you say that. Now that we are on a peaceful planet, you and I have that time we need to finally focus on us. Oh, boy. I don't need to worry about you dying in a fight with Eggman or being gone for months on end. I can't wait to start our life together here. Sonic, so what's Pony go like, Sonic? It's unbelievable, the... Tails. There's beautiful scenery, nice restaurants, a Sorry, beach. guys, I don't All know All our friends from Mobius from. live there, and you guys are going to meet some really cool new friends as well. The Master right. Emerald also found a home in Ponyville at a place called Sweet Apple Acres. We've already found two Chaos Emeralds. The Master Emerald now has two protectors, Knuckles and Applejack. Who's Applejack? 
She's the pony that owns Sweet Apple Acres. She's super sweet, honest, and loving. Knuckles said that the Master Emerald chose Sweet Apple Acres as its new home because it felt that it was a place of sanctuary and that Applejack was worthy of assisting Knuckles in protecting it. I bet Knuckles is upset over that. You couldn't be more wrong, Amy. Like I said, this place has completely changed all of us. We've all been neglecting what the important things in life are because we were too busy fighting Eggman all the time. Mm. Knuckles has completely fallen in love with Applejack and shares not only the responsibility of protecting the Master Emerald, but also assist Applejack in running Sweet Apple Acres. Just wait until you try some of Applejack's apple cider. <laughs> I can't believe it. Knuckles in love? Yeah, can't believe it either, Tails. <laughs> but you have to believe it because it is true. <laughs> Uh, as I said before, even though I know what's going to happen, it still feels nice to, to react to it. I know, right? They are made for each other, Tails. You should have seen Applejack a couple of weeks ago. Shadow found one of the Chaos Emeralds and was threatening to steal ours, so Knuckles attacked Shadow and got kicked in the face. Applejack went Ooh. completely berserk and tried to attack Shadow, but Starlight Glimmer protected Shadow. To make a long story short, Starlight convinced Shadow to stand down and relinquish his Chaos Emerald to us. Wait, I thought Eggman killed Starlight. No, if you remember, Starlight came to Mobius from a different planet. This is Equestria, Starlight's home planet. When Eggman captured Starlight, he wanted to use her power for evil, but she refused to allow that to happen, so she traveled back through space and came home. Her and Shadow are back together. Mm -hmm. My, we have a lot to catch up on, Tails. It's nice to know everyone is having a great time here in Equestria. Tails and I have had nothing but hardship since we've been here. Look at the bright side, Amy. It's all worked out now. We will still be we will be reunited with all our friends. You and Sonic finally have a chance to work on your relationship with no Eggman around. It's uh, funny you should yeah. mention that, Tails. Amy, I've been dreading this conversation for a couple of weeks now, but since I've been in Ponyville, I've really had the chance to examine my life. Tails, I need to have a few minutes alone with Amy. Sure. Tails leaves the room. Oh boy, it, here babe? it comes. Why would, dread, why would you dread talking to me? Here we go. This is... I don't want to hurt you, Amy. We've known each other since we were kids, and I will always love and care for you as a friend. For the past seven years, I've tried so hard to regain the love I once had for you. It just hasn't come back. I can't shake this feeling that no matter what, I'm just your second choice to Shadow. Amy touches Sonic's face. Sonic, you know that's not true. The oh, fact boy. is, from my end, is that I always felt like I took the back seat when you decided to always play hero and leave me for months on end to go fight Eggman. I worry sick and not sleep. I cried until you would return. I worried that every goodbye I had with you was the last. Sorry. Amy, I couldn't just let Eggman take all over our homes. I'm sorry I constantly ran out on you, but that's no excuse for you to secretly date Shadow behind my back. I loved you, Amy. I was considering marrying you. I just never got around to asking you. When you left me for Shadow, I was devastated. That's why I've not been able to fall back in love with you again. But Sonic, times have changed for us. You said it yourself. This uh, is a new beginning for you and I on a peaceful planet. You won't be running away to fight battles any longer. This is not just about fighting battles anymore. I mean, our relationship period has been a battle all in itself. You and I have spent the last seven years trying to make something broken work, and it doesn't. My life, for the first time, is wide open. I know what my future is now, and it's not with you. This is a new planet, and we have a chance to live life right this time. I refuse to live my life the way I did on Mobius. I will not spend another seven years of my life on something I don't want anymore. Oh boy. Sonic? Here goes the mallet. Amy having a complete breakdown. I can't believe you! We haven't seen each other in a month and this is what you give me? That's our problem, Amy. You only care about you. Not once on Mobius did you fight by my side or ask how I was feeling. You want the truth, Amy? No, Sonic. I just want you. I love you with all my heart. I'm sorry I hurt you, but I always felt like fighting Eggman was a bigger priority for you than I was. I'm sorry, Amy. I didn't intend on this to happen. I just don't want to lead you on it anymore when I don't feel love for you any longer. I had to end this so we can both move on. I have to go find Tails. 
Sonic exits into the hallway. You may be walking away now, but I'm not giving up on us, Sonic. Don't waste your time. I know what love feels like now, and it doesn't include you. Oh! Sonic walks away to find Tails. Wow! Amy slams the door and has another breakdown in her room. Princess Celestia's chamber. First of all, Twilight, I must commend you for all that you've done for our friends from Mobius. From what I've yes. read from your messages, they really seem to be enjoying life and flourishing in Ponyville, which is why I'm sending Tails and Amy to Ponyville after the gala is concluded. I know you've been pretty full lately with guests staying at your castle, so I want to ask who would be able to take these two in. I'm thinking Fluttershy is the right pony for the job, Your Majesty. She's so sweet and inviting. I think she'd be perfect for making Tails and Amy feel comfortable. Yes, yes, she I has think, a magnificent I think record of house I think Tails would be perfect. I think Tails would be perfect. She wasn't able to Discord, but to gain his friendship as well. I think Fluttershy is a fine choice. The other matter I wanted to discuss with you was the Grand Galloping Gala. You and your friends may have been wondering why I'm allowing you to bring one guest each to this event. That thought has crossed my mind, Princess. Here's why. I believe it's high time that the Harnishers of Harmony get credited for the immense work that your team has put into defending Equestria from evil. I wanted you and your friends to have a special guest here because the Harnishers of Harmony are going to be the guests of honor at this year's gala. Cool. Oh my goodness! What an incredible honor this is! Thank you, Princess Celestia. Oh no, thank you and your incredibly brave team for keeping Equestria safe. Your team deserves this recognition, Twilight, and quite frankly, so do you. Mm -hmm. However, I want you I want this to stay a surprise for the rest of your team. Don't worry, I will keep it a secret. Sonic finds Tails sitting on a huge ballroom staircase. I told him where to find the X Tornado. Really? I just saw it yesterday morning. I slept inside it the other night. Yeah, they are going to try to use magic to fix it. The only problem is that if they do fix it, there's no fuel here on Equestria, so the X Tornado will only be able to run on solar power. Ah, uh, Tails, that would be awesome. I could definitely use the X-Tornado to get in and out of my roommate's house. How would the X-Tornado help out with that? Oh, crap. <laughs> the, oh, I remember this annoying thing. That annoying thing, the update Wait, thing. For a sec. Every time, it was like almost every time. And it always Don't it, worry, it, I it 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 good. Sonic finds Tails sitting on a huge ballroom staircase. I told him where to find the X-Tornado. Really? I just saw it yesterday morning. I slept inside it the other night. Yeah, they're going to try to use magic to fix it. The only problem is that if they do fix it, there's no fuel here on Equestria, so the X-Tornado will only be able to run on solar power. Ah, Tails, that would be awesome. I could definitely use the X-Tornado to get it in and out of my roommate's house. How would the X-Tornado yeah. help with that? Well, my Seriously. roommate lives in a house that floats on a bed of clouds 400 feet over Ponyville, so every time I need to leave or go, up, she has to carry me on her back. So if the X tornado, so if the X tornado could be fixed, I'd be able to use it to fly myself up or down. Wait, Sonic, you have a girl roommate? Yeah, her name is Rainbow Dash, and she's completely awesome. Just wait yeah. till you meet this girl, Tails. She's actually faster than me. No way! Someone faster than Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> well, in this story it is, but in my story, not so much. <laughs> I'm I'm kidding, guys. Uh, no no offense. No offense, my Levens. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to be. I know, I'm just trying to be. But she caught me. Funny. I was in shock. It's not just the speed that intrigues me with her either, Tails. She's strong, kind-hearted, tenacious, hilarious, confident, and her beauty is totally hypnotizing. I look at her unbelievable eyes, and I can't focus on anything. I have this feeling when I'm with her that can't be explained. She looks at me and I get nervous and it feels like my stomach is doing cartwheels. Sonic, you're in love. Did you tell Amy? No, I didn't tell Amy I'm in love with Rainbow Dash, but I did tell her it's over between us. Rainbow Dash is what love is supposed to feel like, Tails. Amy and I, even when we were in love, couldn't compare to what Rainbow Dash and I have. Rainbow Dash is something very special and I've come to the realization that I can't be happy without her. She sounds amazing, Sonic. I can't wait to meet her. 
I know the feelings that you're describing. Cosmo did the same for me. Every time I saw her, she'd literally take my breath away. I don't know where I'm going to go from here, Sonic. I wish I would have died with Cosmo. She was my future. Hey, I feel like I don't have one anymore. Hey, bud, you're going to heal from this. Don't say things like you wish you had died because I still need my best friend. Mm -hmm. You know I love you, Tails. We're going to have a great life yeah. here on Equestria, and you'll see the ponies that live here are super friendly. Cosmo didn't sacrifice herself for you to wallow in pity. She wanted you to live, and I know it's yeah. hard right now because it's only been a month, but she loved you to the point that she laid her life down to save yours. It's okay to be sad, bud, but you know Cosmo wanted you to live. Don't let her death go in vain. Tails crying heavily, hugging Sonic. <laughs> Sonic, I love her so much. I wish I could have saved her. Tails, we all did. I've even blamed myself for her death. Cosmo's death has affected all of us. She will always have a place in my mind and my heart. She was the one person in our group that everyone loved, and she loved us all, too. <laughs> You're right, Sonic. You're right, though, Sonic. I need to live my life because it's the only way I could still honor her. So do you want to go see the X-Tornado? Absolutely. Sonic and Tails walk together, heading for the X-Tornado. And there's the end of the episode, once again. Hmm. Oh boy, another, another great episode, don't you think, guys? Well... I say that that will be that another ending of another good story. Well, guys, that's all for now. Until next time, this is what I was saying so long. Until we meet again. So, uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Bye, guys.